Today we're going to be discussing trot poles, trot pole exercises, how to measure them, how to understand the distance between them for the horses. We're also going to raise them off the ground into elevated positions. Um, today we're working with Zoe and Andy and we've got Mac and her horse Soupy. What we're gonna do before we even put a horse through our exercise is we're gonna make sure that we have our poles set at the distance that we want the horse to go through them. Now, it depends on the size of the horse, you guys. Right now, today, we're working with medium-sized horses, a quarter horse and a pain horse. And so, when you're working with your own personal horse, you have to go, is it a pony step? Is it a medium-sized horse step? Is it a thoroughbred step? Is it a warm blood step? And so, you can adjust those in a matter of inches based on that horse's size. And so, what I'm gonna help you do is I'm gonna help you just understand the basic distance and how to measure. First off, I need to know how long of step I'm taking. So when I'm taking my measuring tape and I'm putting it out, I'm first just going, when I take a step, how long does that measure my stride length to be? And that's what I, I know. I, through time and experience, what you're gonna start doing when you set up exercises is you're not gonna need your measuring tape to always measure. But for today, we have it out. And so what I have this tape set at is four and a half feet. For a working trot pace for a medium sized horse, I am gonna make sure that my poles are four and a half feet apart. So when I'm taking my one step, I'm making sure the distance is equal between all of them when I've measured them. I set up my exercise based on what the horse's size is, and I also know the level of horse I'm working with. I'm not, if I'm working with a green horse, then I know I'm probably going to start with a single pole. If I'm working with a horse that's in regular work and jumping, I know I can go back to these trot pole exercises and set as many as four up to as many 12 poles in an exercise. And so when you get your poles out and you get your measuring tape out, you can make mark your step off. Now what we're looking for is we're looking for that horse, when they come over the pole, I want their hoof to land right in the middle, halfway between the first pole and the second pole. And that goes for the same for the next ones, because I have four poles. I'm going to make sure that when that horse takes a step, his hoof lands halfway in the middle of whatever pole he's going over in the sequence. Okay, Zoe, when you're ready, go ahead and pick up your trot and you can come around. We're going to send Zoe through first on Andy. And what you're going to see is the footfall of the horse, how their legs coordinate when they're going through the trot pull exercise. She's going to get her pace. She's aiming for the middle stripe. And so she wants the horse to be centered because that's a great way to teach them as far as how to jump. Good girl. Okay, so Andy's step is a little bit short and so Zoe's going to keep working on making his step longer. And how you can tell is that his foot landed maybe a third of the way between each pole, not quite half. Go ahead, Mackenzie. Mackenzie's horse has a little bit longer step, and so you're going to see her footfall be very even, almost 50-50, right in the middle of each pole. And you want that. You're looking for the horse to be straight. You're looking for the horse to be balanced. You would like for them also not to hit the poles when they go through them. And a lot of that can be the reason for hitting a pole would be if the horse were going too fast or slow. The other reason would be, is the horse picking their feet up? Okay, Zoe, go ahead and come one more time through. These girls, I'm having them just post the trot through the poles. That's a great way to just get the balance of the horse initially. What we're then gonna work towards is going into a little bit of a jumping seat and practicing our half seat. Good girl. Very nice, good job. Very good, Zoe. Straight, balanced, his pace was even. Okay, Mackenzie. Good girl. Nice, even step. She was a little forward through it, so her step this time, when she cleared the pole, she was actually closer to more of a 75% distance. And so what we're still looking for, Andy's still staying about in this third, right here about 35-40%. We're still looking for that horse to be about halfway. If the horse is too fast, they're going to be a little bit closer when they step over the pole and heading into the next one. We are still aiming for the pace and the balance to be right in the middle of these poles.